If you wanna earn some money with your camera, you're gonna need a way to edit your photos and conduct your business. But if you're not earning consistent income with photography, then it can be hard to justify spending $1,000 plus on a new computer. While you wanna save some money, you also don't wanna throw away money on some junk. Chromebooks are much cheaper than PC or Mac equivalents, so that asks the question, are they junk or are they a steal? Well, in this video, I'm gonna see if you can run an entire photography business with just a Chromebook. So what is a Chromebook? Chrome is Google's web-based operating system that you may be familiar with if you have a kid who has a school-issued computer. They're typically pretty cheap. But despite them being wildly popular for school-aged kids, Chrome is not just some toy operating system. It's very robust and I believe should be considered alongside Windows or Mac when looking for a new computer. The cool thing about Chromebooks is that applications are all web-based, meaning that you don't really have to install any programs. So then how could that work for business? You're right, there are some programs that I have running on my iMac for business, but the truth is most of the services that I use to run my business are online. I use 17 hats to send invoices, contracts, quotes, quick in for bookkeeping, social B for my social media scheduling, Facebook business manager to run ads, and Emoto to create slideshows for my clients, CloudSpot to deliver photos and build albums. And um, oh yeah, since Chrome can run Android apps, that means Lightroom CC to even edit my photos. Even though Chrome is web-based, you can still plug in an external hard drive and offload all of your edited images to back them up. But Raymond, can't an iPad do all that? An iPad is a great device for a lot of people, but iPad OS is still a mobile first operating system, which means that oftentimes websites are formatted weird on mobile, you know? And when you're dealing with things like bookkeeping or invoicing clients or contracts, the last thing that you want is weirdness. Things like pop-ups that don't scroll, you know, the accept button is just off the screen and you can't press it. Also, iPad OS doesn't have a full file system. They rely more on uh, the cloud to back up your data. And unless you have a thousand dollar iPad Pro, you're not gonna be able to back up your photos to an external hard drive. Okay, so why doesn't everybody then buy a Chromebook and save a ton of money? I think that Lightroom Classic is still the choice of most professional photographers who have been working for more than two or three years, you know, like before, Lightroom CC came along, and there's no Lightroom Classic on anything but a desktop. But does that matter? Well, if you're just getting started, I don't think so, because the future is Lightroom CC, the mobile version. Because Chrome is cloud-based, local storage is typically limited to just 32 gigabytes, which is a quarter of the size of my camera's SD card. But you can buy Chromebooks with up to, you know, half a terabyte of storage, which is plenty, especially when um, combined with cloud storage. When importing your photos from a shoot, you can actually import them directly onto an external hard drive before bringing them into Lightroom, which is exactly what I do on my desktop. But to get a Chromebook with 256 or 512 gigs of storage is a premium Chromebook, which will increase the cost, albeit still much cheaper than a Windows or Mac alternative. On Chromebook, there's also currently no full Photoshop, which is, I mean, not that big of a deal for me as Lightroom is the majority of my workflow. With many of the budget Chromebooks, the screens are to say that they're not great is an overstatement. However, I mean, you could buy an external monitor to solve that problem, but then why not just spend that money on a better Chromebook? So should you buy a Chromebook for your photography business? Chromebooks have come a long way over the past four or five years, and today I would confidently recommend a Chromebook to a new photographer looking to get started and save some money. But I have found that the Chromebook is a really good supplemental device. You know, I bought a desktop because it was cheaper and more powerful than a laptop, but there are still times where I have to travel for a wedding or go on a trip where, you know, I wanna take photos or go to a coffee shop and get work done. I don't need a top of the line laptop to do those things. So the Chromebook is perfect and doesn't leave me with limited options like an iPad would uh, in its mobile operating system. So what Chromebook should you buy? Chromebooks range in price from $89, yes, to $1,200. I use the Acer Spin 713. It has a 4K screen, uh, Intel i5 processor, 256 gigs of storage, and I got it for about $475, which is still pretty expensive for a Chromebook. But the MacBook equivalent would be more than $1,300. If you're looking for recommendations, Chrome has like three levels of Chromebooks. Chromebooks, Chromebook Plus, and then Chromebook Premium. And those are all laid out on Chrome's website, which I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, even though I did edit a wedding on this $89 Chromebook, I would say that anything in the Plus category will do just fine and last you a while, especially 
if it is a supplementary device. If you're wanting to buy a computer to properly run your growing photography business and save some money, then I would step it up and recommend a premium Chromebook. But shop around because Chromebooks are known to go on sale quite often. And it's not unusual to see a $200 or more discount on current generation Chromebooks. You can get $500 Chromebooks for $299 or $700 Chromebooks for 475. Post a comment below if you have any questions about Chromebooks for photographers, and I'd be happy to help. If you want to see what it's like editing a wedding on an $89 Chromebook, check out this video to see for yourself.